What's up guys? Today we are going on a quest to find the best burger in Oslo and we have chosen five different places to go to and we will crown a winner at the end. We have just chosen five for this test. The number of burger places in Oslo is limitless. There are so many. So we just chose the five we wanted to test first and then we will test all the others later. So let's go ahead and start this test. When I was down and down along came you Though you might be a liar and a cheat too I just can't quit you now cause I love you Yes I do I can't let you go baby We are at the first stop which is way down south we have been here a couple of times and we have tried their burger before and it was amazing so I'm excited for this one. Up until 6 p.m. they have burgers. They have smash burgers. They have one like uh, single which is 90 grams, double which is 180 and uh, triple which is uh, <laughs> triple <Something> the <laughs> single. <laughs> yeah so that's what they and they have a junior burger I think. Yeah, yeah. so no no vegetarian or vegan option, options here. Uh, it's just a bar barbecue place. They are, are like specialized in American barbecue. Uh, yeah. Uh, the price of one single burger, I, I'll, I'll have the price on the screen for uh, for all the burgers. We got a single burger. They have pickles. They have it looks like mustard and uh, onion and cheese. This bread is definitely buttered. Yeah, buttered. Quite a much. bit. And there's some kind of dressing underneath here as well. And it's so soft. Oh my god. I wish you could feel how soft it is. <laughs> it's really soft. As I've said before, this one I don't need teeth for. I can just like <laughs> squish it together. It's so soft. The, the bun is perfectly buttered. There's a, like a perfect amount of flavors. There's not too much. I like it that they have like few components and the smash burger is so soft. I, I can't really feel the difference between the burger and the bun like in texture. There's just, everything just like gets so like moist together. This is so juicy. There's simplicity in the flavors and I like, really like that. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't know if you uh, said it, but this, uh, it looks like there's mayonnaise in it. Oh my God, this is so greasy. Just dig in. Oh my god. It's like you say, it's like, it's a dripping, delicious barbecue burger. It's got like the perfect like tartness from the mustard and yeah. the crunch from the pickles and just like the softness of the bun and it's so juicy. Man, this is such a great burger. This is, it's so flavorful, it's so rich in flavor. We know this is a burger test, so, but we wanted to try out like their fry option as well uh, to the different places. They don't have fries at uh, Way Down South, but they have potato wedges. They look lovely. They look really like nice and, and seasoned. Guys, yeah, we'll see. Oh man. I don't know what is seasoned with. I think it's what we in Norway would call barbecue spice. Yeah, barbecue spice. There must be some kind of sugar on it, I think, as well. Really good. So if I was gonna like criticize them about something, I would maybe say that maybe the mustard sauce can be a bit overpowering because there's a, I know there's a lot of flavor in here, but a lot of it's kind of being like masked a bit by the mustard sauce. But this is fantastic. Our next place is uh, illegal burger, which is what we call it in Norwegian, which literally means like illegal burger. We asked them what was like the most popular burger because they have a lot of different types, which are really great. And they also like every single burger can be in fish, vegetarian, and beef. Yeah, yeah and they also have a vegan burger. Uh, so we went for like the classic cheese uh, with beef, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Like this is like the quintessential classic burger. Uh, also, we bought, um, went for, we were gonna order fries, but I don't have fries there either. So we went for potato wedges. Um, so we'll be trying those as well. But let's just dig in. And there's a massive pickle in here as well. Mm. That is, you, you, tell, you can taste like the charred, charredness of the meat. It's got a really delicious like dressing on there. I'm not sure what kind of dressing. 
but it really tastes like the, um, ch uh, the charcoal from the, um, the grill. Man, this is great. It's a nice meaty burger. That is really good. Yeah, I can see that they, they have like half a pickle in there. Yeah. Not sliced or anything. Uh, the meat looks like a medium plus or something, I would think. Yeah, a medium plus. Yeah. It does give me... I don't know if this is a bad thing. It does give me McDonald's vibes. Kind of. I think it's the combination with the pickle and the dressing maybe. And maybe the, the cheddar as well. It contains more than... Uh, the way down south burger and it doesn't it's not as soft as well it's it's a pretty standard burger in its um, consistency so you you have to chew this and you have to like bite down <laughs> it, this doesn't just like collapse when you your teeth touches it so in that case it's more of a like a normal burger the experience isn't like wow it doesn't wow me but the flavors are really good I don't, it's not like a McDonald's burger, it's better, but it's like a high-end version of McDonald's. <laughs> also, the meat is a, maybe a bit tough, a bit tough. So, yeah, it's, um, it's not wowing me, but it's really good. And I will taste the potato veggies as well, even though that's not really a part of the test. But, but a good burger needs good sides, so that's why I wanted to test potatoes as well. These are just salted, but they're perfectly salted. It's like uh, big chunks of like sea salt. These were really good. I kind of prefer these because I don't like that much spice on my potato. Salt is perfect. You don't need more than salt. Good. On to the next. Our next place is BFF Diner and if you have watched our other videos we have been there once before uh, like on camera but we have never tried their burgers they have three burgers one like the BFF burger and two others we chose their BFF burger and with that burger comes a cheese fries that looks amazing so it is with the bacon and with some sort of guacamole looks like and pickled red onion so I'm excited for this yum <laughs> that has so much flavor this is not a simple burger like you can taste everything you can taste the the dressing the the guacamole the cheese, the bacon. The meat is perfectly medium or medium plus. The patty uh, was a bit hard, but still it wasn't overcooked or anything. Okay? Try the fries. I'll try the cheesy. We didn't get any, we didn't get a fork, so I will just eat this with my hands. <sighs> it, it isn't the same as like fries, I would say, because it's the fries are soggy because of the, the cheese. But the flavor is really good. But personally, I think I would prefer normal fries. And with this cheese fries, this like dish becomes so much bigger. <laughs> but they were really good. The flavor was on point. Oh my God. Wow. That first hit with like the red onion uh, and the bacon. This is a nice juicy burger. Really thick and delicious. Uh, that, this is amazing. I, I would say this is probably like one more of the um, like complex ones uh, like compared to maybe their way down south one which is kind of like it had, that way down south one was simpler but it was more like intense in flavor that was delicious i'm gonna try the fries now mm, i haven't really had dirty fries before but that, that was delicious like you said uh, i think maybe i prefer like just basic fries and dip it in like ketchup or something <laughs> Fifa on the night seat. Not among all Okay, we're having a wasp uh, issue. <laughs> Should we go at that? So the next place is uh, we went to was uh, Cavaneria. 
it's kind of like the grinder and we picked up like I think this has to be like the most popular burger there called the boss and when you look at it you can kind of see why it's called that it looks amazing so it has fried onions and fried mushrooms. I think it's glazed in honey and chipotle mayo and cheddar cheese and uh, and obviously bacon. Okay, let's uh, dig in. This this, um, this is a massive burger. Oh my god, that burger is so perfectly cooked. Unlike the BFF one, it's kind of it's more airy, so it's not as dense. It's perfect amount of like chili chipotle flavor. Man, this is just a juicy delicious burger. A messy burger. <laughs> I think I will just have the bag here because uh, I will spill on my dress if I don't. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this because uh, this burger used to be my favorite but I haven't been to this place in years so it's good to be reminded of how it tastes. Oh my god, I think out of all the burgers, this is the this is the this is like the most juicy one, the softest one. It's I would say this is medium rare. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. That is just perfect. Oh my god. And yeah, the mushroom makes this. I love mushroom on burger. And it's it's too much dressing in it, and that's just perfect. It's a yeah. perfect amount of too much dressing. It has to be a dirty burger. Yeah. Oh my god. I had forgotten how good this was. It reminds me of the Way Down South Burger that you don't really need teeth to bite into it because it's so soft. It has more flavors than that burger, I think. More like the flavors punch more, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Damn, wow. Okay, for the fries. Wow, these are really thick. Mm, they're nicely fried as well. Yeah. Mm, these were really good. This was the fourth place. I mean, I want to go. And dog it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Because I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. We are at the last place, and this place is called Dainvel. They have a bunch of burgers to choose from and we asked what their most popular one was and that was Sausage Joe. This has cheddar, parmesan, jalapeno, barbecue glazed bacon, fried onion, salad and mayonnaise. And it is, it has a perfect like charred mark on the top here. And this looks insane. And if you remember, we have had this once before on the vlog. But it's some time ago now and I don't remember quite how it was like. So let's... Okay, that's a messy burger. Because it has so much sauce that everything just pours out when you eat it. <laughs> the cheddar is really prominent. Cheddar can kind of get a bit sickly, but it was really good with the, with the barbecue sauce. And the meat was perfectly like soft and juicy. A bit harder than way down south and uh, Carnadilla. A bit harder, but still really, really juicy and soft. That is amazing. It's, it's really juicy though. Maybe to the point of uh, a bit too juicy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a massive burger, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna, how, how I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> it's so messy, hang on. Mm. Oh my god, that is so juicy. So they should have called it Juicy juicy Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> Saucy Joe. Oh my god, that is so good. I mean, what can I say that, we, that you haven't said? It's it's dirty, it's juicy, and it's... Yeah, it is, it is uh, a bit harder than the other ones. It is like perfect, like, when you bite into it, like all the... It, it's basically a flavor bomb. I'll uh, take a phrase from... Um, Hey, Guy Fieri, this is Flavor Town. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some fries um, with uh, aioli. Straight up, perfect, nice fries. Great crunch, perfect size, I think. No. Yeah. Sure. We are done. We have five candidates and we need to find, we need to crown a winner. Yeah. 
even though we're, we're gonna give like one winner, I think all of them are great places. Yeah. Okay, to summarize, we first went to Way Down South, then we went to Illegal, then we went to BFF, and then Kvarneria, mm -hmm. and then last, Dönvel. So those are the five places. And as I said in the intro, those are just five places we chose like randomly. And we will choose other places for our next test. But if you guys just... want to see it though. Yeah, if you like this video, we will probably do another one. What would be fun if that if we have done this test several times, we can take the winners and compare those. Yeah, that would be cool. We will write down uh, our winners yep. and we will reveal them. Yeah, we haven't talked about like who's our favorite and stuff. So when we write it down now, it's going to be the first time we reveal to each other what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a hunch. And, okay. Uh, okay. One winner though. One winner. Just yeah. One. It's hard though. It's hard. But we'll talk about that after we've crowned, crowned them. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I think you will probably not be surprised. Okay. I am a kind of uh, I'm kind of fifty fifty on what I think you will take. Okay. okay. So how are we gonna Are we gonna show each other? We're we gonna show the camera. We're gonna show the camera. Okay. Two, Two one. Kind of yeah. Because I thought you would take uh, away yourself. Uh, I was debating it yeah. because like the the way down south burger is I mean it it is delicious and I think out of all the ones we've had it's the only smash burger yeah when we had way down south I thought they would win yeah because I didn't remember how kind of the burger there was but yeah. when I tasted it I was like okay that that's that's no yeah competition I'm a bit sad that we have kind and way down south on the same test because yeah. I think way down south We'll win another chest. Yeah, I think so too because it's like it is uh, out of all the burgers we had It was uh, I think the way down south burger is the most unique. Yeah, because it like that that the whole mustard sauce They have yeah, it's like yeah, it's so simple yeah. and it's like the pickles delicious and the mustard sauce is like uh, It's maybe not for everyone because it can be a bit too much I think I said that as well yeah. in the test, but it's so good and so simple and mm -hmm. it's like it just Mm, so yeah. good. keep that in mind. If we had the way down south burger on another other test, I think that would win probably. Yeah. But I, I am. There's no doubt that this was the best burger. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. It, it was so good. Just look at the 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 drawing he was <laughs> able to do at that short amount of time. <laughs> uh, I have to say, even though this one, I think they're all great. Yeah, and I think that if we hadn't tasted the the Carnegie burger the other ones would probably be so much better yeah but they all compared to this the boss which one would you say had the best fries uh i think probably illegal burger had the best fries yeah and i think the way it on south fries were too too much spice on them oh, the, oh yeah the potato wedges yeah. yes the yes. bff had like dirty fries and those were just Soggy, but yeah, yeah, the Carnegie fries. Those were those were good. Okay, yeah, the Carnegie fries and the um, uh, illegal yeah, fries. Yeah. They're a tie. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, although I, I, I do like spicy potato wedges. So yeah. I, I, the way down south ones were delicious. They're great for barbecue. Yeah, they are. Yep. So I think that concludes the first test. Yes. Good that we don't have to argue on this. <laughs> <laughs> if the, you like this format, this test taste tests around town, let us know. And if you have any suggestions for other tests like this, please let us know and we will do that. Uh, we really want to do that before it gets cold here. Yeah. So we can have the video outside. Subscribe if you haven't and if you want to see more of this and follow me on Instagram because I will probably update you there as well with tests we're doing and stuff. And yeah, we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. All my friends say, girl, you better take care Cause that man is trouble, yeah.